you know, 2,500 kilogram truck traveling at eight meters per second going to collide with an 1,100 kilogram car at eight meters per second going the opposite direction. And they're going to collide in a perfectly inelastic collision. The question here is, what would the impulse change be for a 80 kilogram person in the truck versus the 80 kilogram person in the car? Now, a lot of people will say you want to be in the truck because the truck will hit the car with a greater force than the car will hit the, the truck. Well, we know according to Newton's third law, that won't be the case. The force of collision between the truck and the car are, are going to be identical, and so will the impulse of the collision. But what about a, a person inside the truck? Let's say we have an 80 kilogram person in the truck and an 80 kilogram person in the car. Okay, we're going to see that the impulse of the people inside is going to be different. And that's why being in the truck is going to be an advantage. Uh, let's do the regular inelastic collision. Well, we know there's an umbrella equation. Momentum before the collision must equal momentum after. So momentum one must equal momentum two. Now, since we're doing an inelastic collision, it'll look like this. 2,500 multiplied by 8 plus 1,100 multiplied by negative 8 is going to equal the addition of the masses, 2,500 okay, plus 1,100, and then multiplied by the unknown velocity of both together. Solving for the equation, the velocity is 3.1 meters per second. So that means the velocity of the collision after the, after the collision uh, is going to be 3.1. Now the, the car and the truck are both together, so that's the velocity of both of them. Now let's look at the impulse if there was an 80 kilogram person in this truck. So I'm going to say impulse is the mass okay, times by the change in velocity. The velocity final for that person is 3.1 minus the beginning velocity. And again, that'll equal the impulse. And I calculate that to be 391 kilogram meter per second. Now let's do likewise for the, the car. Now the 80 kilogram person, multiply that person's mass times final velocity, 3.1 minus a minus 8.1, or 8.0 rather. Okay, and that's going to equal the impulse. That comes out to be an impulse of 888 kilogram meter per second. So we see that even though the impulse between the vehicles is the same and the force of collision between the vehicles is the same, if we look at what happens to a person inside the truck, we see that there's a difference in their change in momentum. And the reason for that is the 80 kilogram person in the truck does not change direction. Start with an eight meter per second and with 3.1 meters per second. The person in the car though, ends with a positive 3.1 meter per second but started with a negative 8 meters per second. And that's why we see the difference, okay, in the uh, impulse for the collision uh, for the people inside the vehicles.